Boy, they take off pretty quick. Now, you know what? Look at this fish head. It's pretty beat up. So I'm gonna have to rebait. This one's gonna be a freebie. I'm gonna throw it to them. Now, a good friend of mine, JR, up north, you know, makes this really nice bait container. This is called Bait to Go. And I'm showing it to you because it's a neat way to keep your bait, whether you're in freshwater fishing or saltwater fishing. If I unscrew the bottom cap, there are holes in it. So I could actually, if I had live shrimp or live minnows or shad, I could actually put it in the water on the lanyard and they would stay nice and fresh. What I've done is taken ice and put ice water. If you look inside, I've got my actual bait. What I did is I cut some squid beforehand and rinsed it off so it wouldn't be all, you know, with a little yuck and stuff in there. And I also have some of the sand perch. But look at this nice device. You lift it up and you kind of hook it on the side. Now I can get at anything. There's my uh, a head of another sand perch. I'm just going to put that down because I'll use that for bait. I've got my squid in there. That's already in my strips. This is very neat and you can hear the ice. There's still ice in there. So I'm lowering this back down so I don't even get my hands wet. What I like about the system is that it keeps things neat and tidy. You can use live bait, cut bait, I mean anything you want. And it also has a holster system that if you're waiting, which we do a lot of down here in Florida, you can put it on your belt and you can actually wait out on the water or if you want to put a lanyard on your belt, then of course, you know, here, I'll show you. If I turn it upside down, you'll see that that's, you can see there's holes there. It's aerated, which is kind of nice. So in my case, because I've got cut bait, I just want to keep it in there. But there's no mess in the boat. It's a really smart system. Thanks, JR. That's my buddy.